Hey everybody, Darkstar here on the Metagrid. I'm finally configuring my battery bank. So I'm putting on serial connections and bus bars for parallel. So I thought I'd do a round with you all on board so um, you can see what I'm doing and uh, comment if you have any tips or anything like that. So. <laughs> Uh, the first thing, I've just got these studs in here temporarily, so I've been taking these out, first of all. So I lay them down on this piece of foam here. Okay, so I've got this uh, primer, Loctite primer. So apparently you use this, the Loctite will, the Loctite thread locker will dry much quicker, especially in colder areas, and for inactive metals. I'm not sure what that means, but on the thread locker instructions it says, if you're joining inactive metals, get some primer and put on there. So what are inactive metals? I have no idea, but it seemed like a good idea. So <laughs> this has to dry three to five minutes. So spray it. Rotate them 180 degrees, spray the other side. So while those are drying, I've got the previous set to connect. So I've got, uh, I've got these short little cables that I've made up because the uh, bus bars that came with my batteries do not fit this direction they only fit this direction here so and the distance between posts on these uh, groups of batteries is uh, varies quite a bit so I found it difficult to make reasonably accurate bus bars to do the serial connections between the parallel packs so I made these little these little cables out of um, welding cable. I think this is uh, 6 AWG. No, maybe it's 4 AWG. So, yeah, I just bend these a little bit to get them flexible and get them where I need them to go. And then they fit much easier too if they're bent a little bit like that and loosened up. So, got a little wire brush on my drill driver just give them a buff get any oxidation off of there So now I've got 99% isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol, 99% though. I found that this works much better than the 70% or even the 90%. So uh, I just want to clean that copper off a little bit in case there's any grease or anything in there that would, uh, you know, cause problems with the uh, connection between the cable or the terminals and the lugs here. Okay, so now I've got this antioxidant goop that I picked up. It's supposed to be the finest in the land. So I've been using that. Just a very thin coat on either side. 
Now these are going to be below the parallel connection bus bars. So uh, a commenter on one of my YouTube videos mentioned that uh, there's more current flowing serially than parallel. And that made total sense to me. And so on DIY Solar Forum, they there was uh, advice there to put the serial connections or bus bars or cables or what have you on first because there's more current flowing that way. So that's what I've been doing. Now, if I bend those, they uh, they can span various distances, even though the cables are all a little bit longer than they need to be. By doing so, then I can span pretty much any distance I have between my batteries. So here I have the bus bars that came with the batteries from China. These have already been gooped up with the antioxidant goop. So I've been putting the uh, shrink tube red on the positive terminal. So the outside ones go first, and then the inside one so that the height matches. And here's on the negative terminal. Uh, there, oh, is that flat? No, that one's not quite flat. There's some, uh, there's some shrink in the way, so uh, I'm gonna have to clean that up. I'm gonna have to clean that up carefully. Yeah, I want these uh, bars to sit flat because I can't torque the nuts in order to um, flatten them because the uh, holes in the terminals are aluminum and very fragile and I stripped three of them previous video made me very sad okay that's flat yes okay good all right so now I have these m6 nuts They've got the lock ridges on them and a little flange. So these go on next. So I just put those on finger tight. And of course these studs have previously been Loctited on the last round that you you haven't viewed. They're, uh, I put Loctite on those and did this whole procedure on on those terminals previously. So now I have my handy dandy bicycle torque wrench. I've got it set to one Newton meter, which is very, very small amount of force. But all I want to do is snug these, not strip them, ideally. I just want to snug them until that thread locker locks and dries. So I'll probably leave them 24 hours or so. Once that's dry, I'm going to come in and remove one set of terminals and put the leads on for my uh, BMS. And then I'll snug them up probably to um, three or four Newton meters and uh, we'll just make sure there's no overheating terminals and that uh, I'm showing full voltage and you know so on and if uh, four Newton meters does it then I'll be happy because I don't want to strip anymore. So being very careful not to short any terminals I've just uh, I'm tightening these down. There's the click right there. It's just a little bit more than finger tight. One Newton meter. 
meter is a little bit more than finger tight. There, that's good. There's the click, the clickety click. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and put the next set of studs in because it's been like three to five minutes for that primer to dry. So it's time for these to go in and I've got a little method to my madness here. I just put one fairly small drop on. I don't want the thread locker on the surface of the terminal as much as possible. I want to avoid that as much as possible. So I put a tiny amount of thread locker on there and then I interlock the threads from another stud and I just spread it around like that. You can see, I don't know, here let me get a little closer with you. Boom. So those threads interlock and they spread the thread locker out really nicely. And uh, that seems to be just the right amount to uh, avoid any contamination of the surface of the terminal. So I get those in finger tight. Oh, did I miss one? God, I think I missed this one, didn't I? Uh, crap. Okay. Uh, spray. Let you dry. A little bit of thread locker. And this is the permanent stuff, so once it dries, that's it. And apparently you can heat it up to like 500 degrees if you want to remove it, but I don't think I'll be doing that to my batteries anytime soon. So these stainless studs are staying where they're locked, right? <laughs> Oh, I'll wait and do that one. I'll do those two together. So that's pretty much it. Now I'm ready for the next round of uh, cables and bus bars. And uh, so I just do that over and over 16 times and I'll be done. All right. So uh, let me know in the comments what you think about this, how I can improve it, on and on. And please like, subscribe, and share. It helps out me and my family a great deal. And I really appreciate it. So everybody take care. Bye-bye now. Oopsie. <clears throat> Turn off. <sighs>